my distinct pleasure uh, to introduce the mayor of Thornton, Heidi Williams, to present her State of the City Address. Mayor Williams. How are you? Sorry, I didn't see you. Thanks. Well, good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well tonight. Um, I appreciate you coming to our annual business recognition event. So I've been Thornton's mayor for the past seven years. You all probably know I was a small business owner and I have a great interest in making sure that businesses of all sizes succeed in Thornton. I continue to support Thornton in my, or business in my new role at the Colorado Women's Chamber of Commerce. Yes, I have to have two jobs, um, but most mayors do and so that's pretty normal. Um, people sometimes are surprised by that, but I'm enjoying both of my roles being able to support business. Um, also, I have to say it's so wonderful to see so many of our local business leaders here tonight. Um, many of you have heard this story, but I'm going to tell it again. I'm going to tell it every year I'm on the stage, which, by the way, this is my second to last year. Um, but I came to a Thornton Business Breakfast. They used to be in the morning in about 2004 when I opened my business in Thornton. And I ended up walking out the door. Um, with three new customers and so I would just encourage you uh, before the night's over to make sure that you talk to people around you you never know when those relationships are going to turn into something even more like um, real business partners so anyway I always like to tell that story because this was a it's interesting how it's come full circle and now I'm the one standing up here because at the time I had no interest in running for mayor I didn't that wasn't even a thought in my head so anyway um, and if you're interested in running for city council or mayor you know we'll have an election next year so uh, anyway I'd like to take a moment to introduce my colleagues the Thornton City Council members and then other elected officials who are here tonight so first I'm going to start with our uh, Thornton City Council elected officials we have council member Sherry Goodman if you want to stand up and be recognized Sherry Sherry represents Ward 1, and then we have Councilmember Jessica Sangren from Ward 2. <laughs> Councilmember Sam Neesom from Ward 3. <laughs> and then we have a couple of formal, former elected officials. We have Councilmember Matt Goodman here tonight. <laughs> and then we have the former mayor of Federal Heights, uh, Joyce Thomas, here with us this evening. We also have our Small Business Development Council here, uh, Glenn Plagans, <laughs> Terry Sanchez, and Dana Ward. <laughs> SBDC does a lot of real good hard work and consulting with you all, and so we're really appreciative of your, of your partnership, so thank you for being here. We also have Adams County Economic Development staff here. We have Angie Bedoya and Deb Duran. Do you want to stand? All right, hi. Again, great partners, and I'm sure many of you have worked with Angie and Deb, and so thank you for being here. And then from Front Range Community College, we have Claudia Osala. I know where she's at. Thanks for being here, Claudia. Thank you. All right. Well, this is really an exciting time in Thornton. We have seen a lot of change since last year. Thornton has a new city manager. Uh, City Council hired Kevin Woods and he started working for us in October of last year. So he's still just getting his feet wet in this great, busy, um, big city uh, that he's come to. Uh, we also have two new council members and Sherry Goodman and Jessica Sangren, who you just recognized. And we now, as Greg mentioned, have our own um, Chamber of Commerce. Greg, thank you so much for, I don't know where he went, but thank you so much for um, having this great idea. We've been talking about a Thornton Chamber of Commerce since I've been on uh, the City Council and i um, really excited to be able to have a place for you all to gather and network and build relationships and get business. So it'll be wonderful and I really appreciate the support and the partnership of the Metro North Chamber of Commerce. So speaking of change, I'm wondering if anybody's seen the corner of I-25 and 144th Avenue recently. I know, right? And how about the corner of 136th Avenue and I-25? Is this exciting change or what? Thank you. Well, talking about excitement in Thornton over the last year, it would not be complete if we didn't also mention this, um, right, Tiny? <laughs> 
So that was really exciting, and um, this isn't in, in my script at all, but look, that was a really cool thing. We were recognized internationally for finding this dinosaur, and of course the city didn't find it, but our contractors that were working on our new uh, public safety building found it. And I can remember Jeff Coder was the acting city manager at the time, and he goes, Mayor, this is gonna set us way behind. It's gonna be really bad. I'm like, Jeff, this is a dinosaur. We found a really cool dinosaur. So, you know, he was like a buzzkill, but anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I got him in line and he was fine. No, I'm just kidding. But it was, it was so amazing. And, you know, we got to go out and we got to dig um, for bones because they were, you know, at first they were just finding the, the, the skull and some of the um, parts of the frill, which before that happened, I had no idea what a frill was. Um, so it was just a really cool experience. And now you can go visit Tiny, that's his name, at the Museum of Nature and Science. So anyway, as I just mentioned, you can see the new Amazon Distribution Center at the corner of I-25 and 144th Avenue, and it's proof that we are seeing major employers come to Thornton. They're bringing lots of great paying jobs. New retail opportunities are also on the horizon as well, which will provide jobs and lots of new choices when it comes to spending your money in Thornton. I can tell you I'm super excited about that. Um, so just take a look at our North I-25 corridor today and compare it to what it looked like just a year ago. The change is remarkable. The Amazon building is the largest industrial building in the state with about 2.4 million square feet of operational space. We expect that when Amazon gets fully into operations, there will be an additional 1,500 jobs in the city of Thornton. And while Amazon and the Denver Premium Outlets are the more visible additions in Thornton, six other great primary employers came to Thornton in 2017, bringing 360 new jobs to our city. We welcome Hensel Phelps Construction, Tower Engineering, Allied Global Alliance Construction, Motion Design Incorporated, and Sonder to Thornton. Yes. Sonder actually started with 35 employees, but they are already expanding their office size and adding 100 more employees in 2018. So this is just great for the residents who live in Thornton. Our goal is really to get more and more of our citizens working in the city of Thornton, because right now we have probably nine, 85 to 90 percent of our folks commuting out of the city, and we all know what I-25 looks like, so the more people can stay in the city, the better it will be for everyone. So. <laughs> Moving on to the next best subject, let's talk about shopping for a second. Yes. So just south of Amazon a bit is the new Denver Premium Outlets, which should be open for business early this fall. So if you're interested in knowing more about the shops that are coming to the, to the outlets, so I would tell you if I could, but they won't tell me. So sorry, you're going to have to wait like I do for, uh, to find out what the, what the stores are going to be. I've put in my requests for which stores I'd like to see, like Ann Taylor and some of my favorite shoe stores, but honestly, I have no pull, and clearly, they don't trust me because they, would, they knew I would like tell you guys tonight who was coming. Anyway, we should know soon, um, but the Denver Premium Outlets will have 350,000 square feet of commercial space, and my family and I plan to walk through all of that once they are open. Now, let me tell you how that's going to work. My family's going to go one direction, and I'm going to go the other because I really don't like shopping with other people, so... My husband can take the kids and I'll go shop. Anyway, there are even more big commercial developments coming. The Summit Entertainment Group is opening in just a few months and is a place your family will love. This entertainment facility is at the corner of 144th and Washington Street and will include bowling, food, and party rooms. They even have an executive um, room where you can have your own bowling lane, so it's gonna be super cool. So all you big companies that just moved to Thornton, you should definitely have your party there. Um, so it's big at about 50,000 square feet, which is good because I have seen how some of you bowl, so we may need that much space. I was probably really referring to me. Every once in a while, the ball just kind of goes that way. So anyway, the biggest mystery in recent Thornton history is, will we actually have a Top Golf? Well, the mystery is solved. Top Golf is happening, and we kept it here in Thornton. Yay! I mean, let's be honest, even if you're not a golfer, it has something for everyone. Um, <laughs> I had to go down to Centennial and check it out um, before we voted for it because I had to see what people were talking about. And so I'm really excited that this is going to be in Larkridge. Um, so it's breaking soon, uh, breaking ground soon, and it's just going to be south of Costco at Larkridge, and it's scheduled to be open by March of 2019. So, yes. 
Speaking of golf, our city golf course, Thorn Creek, has been getting a makeover for the last year or so, and it's nearly ready for its debut in just a few months. So if you haven't seen the, how great the golf course looks, just drive on I-25 and go down 136th Avenue. It's looking very green over there now. Um, my husband and I were just talking that we have to take up golf because now we have a really cool golf course that the city paid a lot of money for. So um, I'm going to get better, I, I promise. Maybe after I'm done being mayor, though. Um, anyway, the Grove continues to grow and blossom at the southeast corner of I-25 and 144th Avenue. Uh, they have a new uh, hotel, so they'll have two hotels there. The new one is called the Hilton Garden, and it broke ground last fall and should be open by Thanksgiving of this year. The four-story hotel will also include a fabulous restaurant called Johnny's Est Italian Steakhouse. So there are also going to be plenty of new restaurants out at the Grove with Cuba Cuba, Grab a Green, Your Pie, Potbelly Sandwich Shop, and Five Guys Burgers and Fries, as well as at our new outlet mall. I, again, don't know what they are, but I know they're coming. Um, the south side of Thornton also has some exciting possibilities taking shape now. The Thornton Development Authority is working with Opus Development to create a new healthcare district of about 19 acres of land and it, that's just south of Thornton Parkway and west of Grant Street. The intent is to complement the and enhance the healthcare uses already nearby, such as North Suburban Medical Center and the Center for Spine and Orthopedics. Opus tells us they intend to bring assisted living, medical office space, limited service hotel with suites, a sit-down restaurant, and a small retail strip center, which is going to be great for that area. North Suburban really needs to have a place for their, their doctors to come and residents to come, and if they have a, a place for them to come and stay and also um, have, a pl have places to eat and um, have other places where they can go and do their residence, it'll be really, really good. So we're excited that Opus has come on board and is working really hard to fit the vision that the city council has for that area. We've also been anticipating having RTD's Fast Tracks North Metro Rail Line here in the city for some time. So unfortunately, it's been slow, as you all know. Um, we've seen the progress as they have been getting the bridge structures built, but other delays have pushed the timeline out for full service at least until the end of 19. You can boo now, boo. Yeah. Um, but the line will provide commuter rail service from Denver Union Station to three sites in Thornton, 124th Avenue, 104th Avenue, and 88th Avenue, all of which will boast their own chances of retail employment and housing development. So we are excited that that's coming. We just wish it was coming a little faster. So we continue to put pressure on RTD to get that moving and get it done. So Thornton has also really continued our efforts to support and reinvest in our businesses. Hopefully you all had a chance to meet some of our great economic development team. Not only are they in charge of putting this great event together every year, but they are glad to take the time to learn more about your business and find ways to get you resources and advice to make you more successful. Can I have the economic development team stand up one more time or raise your hand? They really are an amazing team of people and we're so fortunate to have you all in the city of Thornton. This team can tell you more about our programs to help new and existing businesses. We like to tell people about our business improvement grant program. We call it the big program. And we awarded over $360,000 in business improvement, improvement grants in 2018 to go towards exterior or interior improvements and equipment grants. We give, give up to $30,000 per business and we've already given all of our 2018 money away, so if you do have a need in your business and want to apply for the grant, you can start applying for the 2019 uh, grant money soon. So again, check with the economic development team on that deadline. So in an effort to assist small businesses in the th southern part of the city, we recognize that a lot of those businesses going in are very, very small businesses and are going into an area that really needs to be redeveloped. So we designed a, pro a program called the STAR Grant. This grant is specifically designed for businesses in our South Thornton Development Authority area, and we over have over 130,000 available for new businesses looking to open in this area. Individual businesses can get up to $15,000. So if you're thinking, of, you know somebody that's thinking of, or you're thinking about opening up a business in South Thornton, again, talk to the staff and they can help you out with that. Thornton's commercial graffiti removal program is extremely, extremely popular with our businesses. This city service provides free graffiti removal for any commercial business located within the city. 
Within 24 hours of receiving a report of the graffiti, the city's graffiti removal crew will come out and have it removed. And I know that because I have actually turned in graffiti and driven by it the next day and it's already gone. So our Businesses of Thornton Advisory Committee is a big supporter of our Shop Thornton First program. We're finding people are paying more attention to where they spend their money and keeping it in Thornton is a big boost for our businesses and all the services that Thornton provides. This show, Shop Local program has marketing opportunities to support our local business community with advertising and exposure. You'll be seeing more of their work around the city on electronic billboards and a streetlight banner program. I'd also like to tell you about something really cool and useful we just released for everyone to use. Thornton has its own app. My Thornton is the name of our new mobile app and you can use it to find stores and restaurants, city parks, you can get city news, important phone numbers, and a great feature is that people can report an, is an issue such as a pothole or broken traffic light directly to staff. Just go to your app store on your iPhone or Android phone and search for Thornton to download it. So you guys can all do that right now so that I'm not the only one in the city that stops and takes a picture of the pothole and turns it in. But I will tell you that when I do that, they get out there usually the same day and, and fill the pothole or whatever it is. I'm a big reporter of dead raccoons on the side of the road. and. For some reason, that's not on the app, but hopefully, well, at least on the old one, hopefully it's on the new one, because um, there's nothing worse than seeing that. But anyway, finally, we need to mention again that the City of Thornton has collaborated with the Metro North Chamber of Commerce to form a new Thornton Chamber of Commerce for our local businesses. During 2018, Thornton businesses can become a member in the Thornton Chamber for free and an investor in the Metro North Chamber at 50% reduced cost. It's important to remember that one of the main driving factors for all this development coming to Thornton is the fact that people continue to want to live here. We are seeing tremendous residential development this year with already 300 single family home permits having been issued just this year. So we're on track for about 1,000. Thornton has seen over 60% growth in population since the year 2000 and home appreciation since that time has been nearly 70%. To all the potential employers and commercial companies thinking about coming to Thornton, we expect to have over 2,100 new residential units permitted in the next three years and an additional 4,800 by the year 2023. They always say rooftops bring retail and employers, so we can expect to have even more companies announce in the years to come. All the sales and tax and use revenue is also a driving force for Thornton being able to continue to provide the excellent services that our residents and businesses need and want. You may remember that Tiny was found during the construction of our new public safety facility out on Quebec. This facility is our new fire station number six and a police substation. The building will be ready for us to start moving into in July. In just a matter of weeks, we are going to be breaking ground on a new recreation center in North Thornton. Someone just asked me about that today. The new Trailwinds Recreation Center will be constructed on city-owned property in the Thornton Trailwinds Park and Open Space Complex at 136th Avenue and Holly Street. The new recreation center will be approximately 87,000 square feet and has a target grand opening for late fall of 2019. So my term ends in November of 2019, so everybody say a quick prayer that it'll get done before my term is up, because um, I just want to see that um, as, as the mayor. But anyway, that's just a selfish thing. Um, but thank you all for coming to our event tonight. Our business community is always a focus for myself and the city because we know you do so much for our community. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker. Reggie Rivers is a former NFL uh, running back who played six seasons with the Denver Broncos. Go Broncos, yay! I'm a native, so I'm very biased. Um, during the 1990s, Reggie is a, oh, I'm sorry, that was during the 1990s. Reggie is a media personality and business owner who has worked in newspaper, radio, and television in Denver. He graduated from Texas State University with a degree in journalism, and he earned a master's degree in global studies from the University of Denver. He has written five books. The latest is the award-winning novel, The Colony, A Political Tale. My script just got done, but let me tell you, I talked with Reggie a little bit before the, the dinner, and he actually wanted me to give you a few more um, traits about Reggie. He wanted me to tell you that he is the tallest, best-looking, young, and highest jumper that you've ever seen, ever. Um, I wish I could come up with some more embarrassing things, but he said it's almost impossible to embarrass him, so if you guys can come up with something during his speech, just yell it out. Um, but anyway, it is my 
honor and pleasure to welcome Reggie Rivers to our stage. Please join me in giving him a warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>